Hey guys, this is a Sargent Signature Series, and you probably saw uh, Kerensky 77 pick one of these the other day, and I've had this one around for quite a while. This is kind of a special lock. This was sent to me by Selim last July, and, but he hasn't been sitting still. This lock has been on the world tour. Uh, I sent him to the Caveman 1966, who did a rather unique way of clamping this up with a pair of vice grip pliers, and in fact, he managed to pick it. So, and then he sent it back to me, I guess, to... Uh, Give me another try at it. Uh, we got both keys. We have the, uh, the operating key, and we have get that out of there. And we have the oper uh, the control key. And you can tell the control key because we got a C on it right there. Yeah, okay, I, I have to tell you, I've struggled with this lock over and over. But when Kerensky 77 opened it up and showed me what the inside looked like, I really got a better idea of what it was I was find uh, I was fighting. Because when you look at these keys. And please watch his video for much more detail. There are our side pins on both sides, and for some reason I was under the impression they were only under one side. The other problem I was having, and I, after watching the caveman whack this thing, I was clamping this up in my vise, and the uh, control arm there was actually clamping with a piece of leather wrapped around it and it was locking it and binding it in place and I was having a lot of trouble with it. When he clamped it with the vice grips down on the bottom here, leaving that free, I realized that maybe I was screwing myself and indeed that was the case. Well anyway, enough talk. Let's clamp this thing up and see if uh, we can get Selim's lock unlocked without a key. All right, we got this baby tied down. I got a piece of leather wrapped around the back of it, and I'm only clamping on this top cylinder because I found that when I clamp on the bottom part of the cylinder, uh, it kind of freezes the core. It pinches it inside of there. So anyway, it, uh, it does rotate freely. I can work around the camera. Let me move the camera just a bit so I don't bump into it too much. And the key's a little hard to come out. I don't know why. Other than this block is way out of max code, so that's probably why they don't pin these commercially like that. Um, you know, we can pick it like that, but what I'd like to do is something a little different. This is the control side, and you can tell the control key uh, because I usually have control or a C on it. Um, this one will rotate to the left. Now, when we rotate to the left, let me move the camera. What you'll see on this side, there's a locking pawl. So you, you insert it into the lock, and then you lock the core in place, and then you remove the key. And once you remove that key, you can't pull the core out. So if you can pick the core, if you can pick to control, and remove this entire core from the lock, that's even better than picking the lock, because then you can put your, a brand new core into it that you have both keys for. So let's just try that. Let's try to pick it to control. Let me put this, line it up a little bit better here. There we go. So that means we have to pick it counterclockwise. So let's do that. I'm going to use a Peterson gem for this. Move my camera yet one more time so I don't keep bumping into everything. All right, here we go. A little bit of tension. Now I don't know the sequence. I've only picked this once and I forgot to gut it on camera. I got so excited. So the sequence will be, as I recall, it uh, you pick uh, out of sequence. You pick the upper, you pick both sidebars, and n none of them, you don't pick the entire sidebar. So you just got to let the lock tell you what needs to be picked. Okay, that was pin 5. That was the binder. Pin 2, little binder there. Okay, everything on the top seems springy now. So now what I'm going to do is go to the bottom and see if I can free up that sidebar. It's probably binding on us, and that will let us pick some more on the top pins. There we go. I just touched a pin on the right side, on the right sidebar, and I got a turn. You heard that click. I'm going to keep going. Maybe there's another one back there I can get. Nope. They're all springy. All right, let's check the uppers again. See if one of those is waiting his turn. Springy. Okay, that was pin three. Slight turn. Okay, 
Okay, pin two, finding. Wow, very serious bind. Probably picked him out of sequence. There we go. Let's see if somebody on the upper is ready or we have to go back and try the sidebar now. Okay, those are all springy. He's set. He's set and he's springy. Let's go back to the sidebar. Alright, let's see if it's still the right or if it's somebody on the left this time. Like picking a dimple lock, according to Karinsky. There we go. That was on the right side. Let's see if there's anybody else back there on the sidebar. I tried raking this thing. I, I, like the caveman, I just don't have the technique. I cannot rake that sidebar. It just doesn't. It takes a little more finesse for me. So I have. I found that I have to do it literally pin by pin. I've tried it with every kind of rake I own, and it will not rake open. I end up oversetting them or something, I don't know. They're all set. He's springy. Huh. Let's try the sidebar yet again. Uh, maybe I missed one. They're a little hard to get. There we go. So we are. There we are. Control. I'll hold that and I'll move the camera over. And I think you can see the control arm is now oops. The control arm is now completely depressed. I'll, and the key is turned just a little bit to the left. I'll rotate it back so you can see. There we go. We're back. Now it's locked back. Let's gut this thing. Let me move the camera. Take this out, set it right there. Take this, take this. All right, what do we need here? Screwdriver. And we will take the operating key. Rotate him. And we find a plug follower. I think it's a medium. Yep. Okay, as I bring this out, I'm going to hold my finger on the pins and rotate it so you can see the sidebars are both in place. I'm going to put my finger so they don't spring out. There goes the pins on the other side, a couple of them. But the sidebars, find my tweezers. Come on, camera, focus. Come on. There we go. I'm going to take my thumb off. And these sidebars. Come out of there, you devil. There goes another pin fell out. <sighs> Crap. Where'd you go? Okay, there's what the sidebar looks like. There's two of them. Come out of there. And they're both intact. See? And there's also some little springs in there that keep that sidebar. And these little pins on the side are what you work with. And Karinsky did a really good job of showing how those work. Those are all also intact. And we'll play with those in a minute as soon as I can get uh, the top pins sorted. Two of them did fall out and they landed right here. So that one went there, I think. No. No, that was right. And the other one went right there. There we go. So there's nothing unusual about the top of this core. No counter milling and these are all standard pins. They're just they're just cut at wild angles, that's all. Wide variations, well out of max code, but OK, 
Okay, nothing unusual. No countermilling, no threading, nothing. Just wild cutting. Okay, let's get this tube gutted. Uh, tweezers again. And these also, oddly, are all standards. One. Two. Get the center of my camera, there'll be a little bit better. Here we go. Now we get in the control sleeve. We're going to have multiple t uh, uh, pins in here. He's not going to come out just yet. Yes, he did. There he goes. Both of those came out. And the last one, come out of there. Where are, there you are. All right, fellas, there you go. And there's your control sleeve comes out of there. Springs going everywhere, but there you go. The signature series from Selim. Thank you, sir, for letting giving me a chance to, well, giving me many, many, many months to play with this lock and send him on some frequent flyer miles all the way to uh, to Denmark and back. Everybody, thank, thanks for your time. Stay safe and stay legal.